Okay, guys, we're gonna go through uh, a series of different techniques from the what people are calling the harness position or the top position when our opponent's on all fours. Okay, basically, when I get here, I want to keep my 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 body hip to hip. I want to try to reach around and under his arm and around and under his head. I have a strong side. Okay, I like to be here. If I end up on the on the other side of his body for whatever reason in the scramble, I always try to find my strong side because this is where all my moves work from. They don't work for me so much on the other side. So it's okay to just develop one side. So I have my hands locked almost like I would have just for a guillotine and have just good control. Now I keep my, my pressure on him here. So I'm hip to hip. If you look right here, I'm kind of driving into him. Hip back and I'm hip to hip. I kind of, I kind of start driving into him. That's a, a good feel for the my opponent at that time to try to to roll me over. So that's the first part of this. He lock, he locks my arm. And he's gonna give me a roll over here. Worst case scenario, I get beat and I end up underneath him. So this is where we're gonna start from. Once I end up underneath him, I need to immediately shrimp shrimp my hips. But I start oh, I start trapping his head up top here. If you can come over here and see. So I start shrimping my hips and I control him his upper body with his arm and his head. I shrimp my hips until I can square myself up. I'm actually gonna secure his shoulder with my chin while I make the adjustment now. So I hold tight, I drive him up, and I'm gonna sit here and hang out right underneath him. My one leg's underneath here, my upper body's locked. At this point, he's gonna start trying to scramble out and roll, and I wanna really just make sure that I maintain this position. Okay, hold tight. My outside leg is gonna kill, kill his grip and make sure he can't use this arm. Okay, so that's my first thing. Suck him back, kill his grip. Once I kill his grip, I can clear my other leg out. Now he's kind of just sitting in my lap, All right? So let's go back. For however, for whatever reason, maybe I defend. I circle around. I look here. Okay, I keep my weight. I have to keep shrimping my hips until I feel there's enough uh, enough space to thread the needle with my leg and keep a good base. Use my chin and his shoulder. I drive up and I sit right here. Okay. Now the next the next move again. This foot. I'm gonna kill his uh, his grip and I'm gonna control the inside of his elbow. Same time, I can take this leg out. All right, now when I t this is where people make the mistake. I want to make sure that the foot that's on the on his arm here, not the foot that's under his body, that's the first one that I'm looking to cross around for the triangle. If I do this, if I do this foot first, which I do sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I have to go back and redo, uh, unlock my triangle and re-relock it. So this one here is going to go first. I stretch his body and I control just his head and his arm. So I get a nice clear path to put my, my leg here, right across the front of his neck where it needs to be. Okay. Nice and tight here like this. Stretch like this. And pass this leg fast. Boop. Same time I do this, catch my base, lock my triangle. It's important when I lock my triangle though, guys, that my foot locks and my foot here makes this motion. Okay, bends this way. So this tightens here. Usually, I don't get a good tap uh, for the guy right away in this position, but I, if I can scoot my body and squeeze, I might get a, I might get a guy with a bad neck to tap out. But since he's got a good neck and he's not ready to tap out yet, I'm gonna walk my hands up and I'm gonna try to reach his leg. The whole goal is to get his body bent up. He's, if he's smart, he's keeping his leg from me, so he's not letting me grab it. So I have to go. I have to go after it. Okay, one way or the other, I have to find it. I bring my base up. He almost starts feeling like he can. He can start going to his base here, and I catch. If I catch this one, I catch this one. Now the goal is I'm going to pull his knee right to his face. Okay. If he doesn't tap here, I just take his knee, almost like a knee bar, and it's nasty leverage. So I'm going to get a choke and a knee bar. Okay. Breathe. 